She's so pretty. Her sleepy. Oh my goodness. Her so sleepy. She likes to lay here and let Granny comb her hair. <laughs> yeah. She likes to lay here and get her old hair combed. Yeah. Her's a sweet girl. She's so pretty. She Granny pretty baby. She Granny pretty baby. She lets her comb. She lets me comb her hair. Yeah, here's the old pretty baby. Here's the old pretty baby. <laughs> you old pretty girl. You old pretty girl. Yeah, here's a pretty girl. Oh, Granny's old pretty girl. Her sweet. Oh, she's sleepy. Oh my goodness, her so sleepy. Her so, so tired. Oh, her so, so tired. Yeah, she's so tired. She's so tired. Uh oh. What's Papa doing in there? What's he doing in there? You gotta go check it out. Callie. Hey, Callie. You're so pretty. You're so pretty. I love you. I love you, little girl. Y'all, can you hear what's going on? I'm gonna stop and see if you can hear it. There's bulldozers. There's tree cutters there's back hoes there's been a giant catawba well you can see how big it is right here this giant my window is filthy y'all i'm sorry my this big catawba i think that's how you say it tree right here has y'all that's where uh daniel boone burns he's been burning y'all <laughs> Oops, I'm sorry, Callie. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, girlfriend. I'm sorry. Um, what was I saying? Uh, we cut a tree down in the front yard. And, um, so Dan's been burning it in his little stove thing here, y'all. Dan is just, he's a pyromaniac. And when you live in the city limits, you can't burn. Except when you do it <laughs> like that. Dan gets around those rules. Uh, but yeah, they're taking this giant Catawba tree out. There was a house over there. This is our privacy. Well, this is all of our fence, but we ran the privacy up to that tree because anyway. Um, so yeah, they took this house. The house sat right back here. See the, you can see the big machinery back there. But yeah, they're taking it out. And so when they drop these big hunks of tree on the ground, it makes terrible loud noise not terrible but loud noises and that has had Callie that has had Callie she's probably listening to it again because they're hollering when they holler to one another when those men out there holler to each other oh she can't stand it she goes to barking like she's gonna run them off she's you know gonna anyway I'm really looking forward to that all being gone because we haven't gotten day like we've not gotten sunlight in our yard ever and so i've never been able to have pretty flowers because pretty flowers don't live in the shade and so i had a giant tree in the front yard which shaded the whole front yard which I mean, that's good but now that's gone um most of it not all of it and this big catawba tree and they're cutting some others out but the catawba was what was hanging over our house he um the man that um has those people out there working on it came and knocked on the door this morning and said um he would be he said i'm gonna have to be he said i just wanted to let you know we're taking this tree out today and i said oh good 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 and uh he said uh we're gonna have to be in your yard i said do whatever you need to do whatever truly whatever you need to do do it because I'm, I'm glad to see that tree go. We have complained about it for years. No, I mean, like, not to somebody because there was really nobody to complain to because the lady that lived there um, was a really old lady. And then she went into a nursing home and um, nobody's ever lived in the house since. Her, I think, daughter, I'm pretty sure it's her daughter and son-in-law were, you know, kind of taking care of it. And, you know, but they had lives and all that kind of stuff. So they just didn't, you know, just didn't mess with it. And so it's it's been a, a 
a mess for a lot of years. So I'm so, mine is a mess too, y'all. But Dan has been slowly cleaning because I really think y'all. I don't know this to be true, but I mean I think it's true. Dan, like I complain about him hoarding all the time. Don't get me wrong, you know I do. But um, <laughs> he um, what was I saying, y'all? God, dog, I can't keep my thoughts together. Oh, him hoarding. Well, when I started telling y'all that he hoards, then he started cleaning up. So I should have told y'all a long time ago that Dan hoards because he's he's cleaning up. I mean, he's got a ways to go, don't get me wrong. But, um, yeah, he's been cleaning up. And so hopefully with them getting all this out of there, that big catawba tree, oh my gosh, I'm so glad. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm not sad really at all, but it did shade the back of our house, which I'm sure made the summer months a little bit easier. So I am kind of scared to see what that's going to do, but I'm so glad to get that out of here because it dropped these crazy blooms and these big long beans and leaves. It was just a very, very messy tree. So, And, and then there was part of the year where there was Catawba worm shit everywhere. So, yeah, there was that. So... I'm glad to see it go. Y'all look, they're getting it out. Hallelujah, they're getting it. Oh, Heck they yeah. Down the tree down. Yeah. The... There was a big loud noise just now, so I was wondering if they yeah, they did, they dropped that great big limb right there. Oh, yeah, that's the awesome. Tree. Yeah. That's a big one. It is that's a giant big. tree. How in the world did it not fall on? I I don't know, y'all. We always were worried during a storm that it was going to fall on us. How in the world did it survive this yeah. fall? I'm glad to see it go. Are you, Clay? Yes, I am. So, y'all, like, we don't have grass. We've never had grass back here because it was so shaded. And this tree continually dropping leaves and beans and blooms and catawba poop that it just never, we were, we've never been able to have grass. So I'm looking forward to That's because we had someone that know, didn't know how, what they were doing when they built this house. <laughs> well, we just had that tree there, so it's going to be gone now, though. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Y'all, they got the top part out. Look at how, I just cannot tell you how much brighter, like there's daylight actually coming in my house. <laughs> I it's love like it. came in for 20 years. I'm going to have to clean these windows. Huh. Yeah. This is I'm awesome. Oh my gosh, y'all. The whole top is gone. That is freaking awesome. Heck yes. I could build a big old pretty cup table. <laughs> you want some of that wood, Clay? No. Clay and his daddy have a, um, Shut. a lathe where they can turn wood. And uh, Clay has turned some bowls and stuff like that. And he wants to make like ink pens. You made a pipe too, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Made Cameron a pipe. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I didn't know Smiley actually got out there and did some work. You go, Smiley man. He's getting after him. Yeah, look at him. Boss man's out there cutting some himself. That's what, I think that's what, I mean, that's why he's such a, a I think, I mean, I don't, you know, know him as a person, obviously. Just I've had a few dealings with him, but he's always been extremely nice, and I think other people would say that too. But um, he's he's the boss and he owns this business, but yet he's right out here with them cutting and all that kind of stuff. And I think that that says a lot for somebody. I think it has literally only been about thirty minutes, guys, and it's gone. Like it's just all of it's gone. Isn't that crazy? And I see the truck over there loading up. There's two big, huge dumpsters. And so, they're loading those up. It's moving on. I've got the fan going, so I hope it's not blowing on the mic so that you can hear me. Y'all, I've ordered some harem pants. Like that. Uh, I ordered them yesterday, and they came today. Wonder what they're gonna fit like. <laughs> oh y'all, they're so pretty. I saw the girl Callie, please back up, baby. Y'all, she's in rare form. Not rare form. She's in normal form. Callie, no. 
girlfriend, you just get a whooping. You want a whooping? Do you want a whooping? You got you got to get a haircut. I'm so thankful your appointment's finally coming up because you're looking like a little homeless baby. But y'all, in the picture I saw, this girl, she didn't wear them as pants. She wore it as like a jumpsuit. You know, like she pulled this up like around her chest. And that's probably how I'll wear it. But y'all, look how cute. I love this material. I'll try them on maybe later. Guys, this is what I have on today. I ordered me some harem pants. Do, 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 Look at Callie. Quit. Quit, sister. Quit, sister. She's got a mess back here in the floor. She chews up baby wipes and yeah. But yeah, uh, I ordered these off of Amazon. I ordered them one day. They came the next. They were called uh, harem slash yoga pants. But uh, I call these MC hammer pants. I got my MC hammer pants on. But yeah, I need to find me a, uh, this is a, one of the Black Nadine West tops. I want to find a top this color to go with it. Like I didn't realize it, but my nails uh, match. But yeah, I love these guys. You know, I'm a maxi dress wearing fool. And this is a maxi dress but that I don't have to worry about showing my honey. So yeah, we're fixing to go run some um, errands and be back. Y'all, this is what my day is like. Ow! Don't bite me so hard, Callie. Oh, y'all. What have I... Look, there's her. I went and got her. Callie, don't bite me so hard. I went and got her some turkey meat for breakfast. She won't eat it. She acts like she don't like it. But she'll guard it so the cat can't have it. Y'all, it... I, what have I done? What have I done? My life was quiet. No biting dogs, biting me, fighting with, not she's not fighting with me, she's just playing. And she is so sweet. That's why she is getting away with, with murder. She eats on me all the time. Look, I can try to hide my hands. I can put it under the cover and she just, no, she will go to town. Y'all, what have I done? What have I done? Y'all, did you just see the little clip of my little crazy dog? I was laying here. She was biting all over me. She hears little cat go get in her shitter is what we call it. I had to put it up. You see, I had to put it up on a table because my little crazy dog, y'all, and you saw she was down there whining. My cute, sweet loving precious little fur baby will take the cat turds and sling them all over the house like they're toys like she'll get a turd and she'll throw it until it falls like completely apart and like I didn't even know I didn't know what was happening at first because I wasn't catching her like I, I, I like I would walk in here into the bedroom and there would be like these pieces of cat turd everywhere and I was like is that cat She's never, I'm like, she's never done that. She's not pooping. <sighs> but I could see pieces of, um, what's that called? Cat litter. So I knew it started out in the cat litter box. I couldn't imagine. I knew it had to be something linked with the dog because that's the only thing that's changed around here. So I got to where I would watch her. Yeah, she goes over there and she gets her, Ever how many turds is in there and she slings them around you know like how, like how a dog will throw their toy and then go get it and you know play with it. yeah that was my dog and cat turds she's over here eating her turkey now because the cat's on the foot of the bed and she don't want the cat to have the turkey 
Yes, all my animals are spoiled. Um, so yeah, my little dog would uh, throw cat turds and then come lick me on my face. How about that? So I was like, oh no, 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 no. I've never had a desire to have cat turd licked anywhere near my face. Anywhere on me, actually. So I had to fix it. So I put the box up on a table to keep Miss Ma'am from playing with turds. Yeah, that's what my life has come down to. I can't shit half the time and my dog's over here playing with shit. <sighs> me and Callie have got our day underway. Y'all, I'm sitting in here facing these do this patio door. Y'all know, uh, I think that's some footage that was in the earlier part of this vlog. They took this big tree out here that has been here forever. Um, literally ever since we've had this house, but um, like the di like and there's daylight coming in back here. The amount of daylight, y'all, I'm just telling you. My house has always been real dark because it was so shaded, and now all the light that's coming in, oh my gosh. I love it. And y'all know, I, I was talking about Callie in there. This is my weakness, y'all. I'm not back on my low-carb diet. Need desperately to get back on my low carb diet, but y'all, that's my weakness. Stuff like that, junk stuff I don't need. Pretzels, mmm. I think it's because it's bread and salt, and I get the garlic, the garlic parmesan. Y'all, the bottom of my sleeve is wet because Callie sat here while I was getting dressed a while ago or earlier and chewed on my sleeve and so now it's wet. I had a point in telling y'all something when I sat down here. Oh, I was talking about Callie. It's just like having a little baby again, you know. I, I literally, I hear her uh, doing something and I get up, she's got like some sunglasses. Like, y'all, she literally went in my purse. We've had her, I don't know, what, about two months now? I'm not sure. I've bought the little harness things to put on her. She has now chewed two of them up. They are $12 a piece. Um, no, I take that back. She's chewed three because she chewed the one that they sent with her. I've bought two. She's chewed those. And y'all, I, I try to keep stuff put up away from her. I had her harness in my purse. And um, I forgot and set my purse in like on the foot of the bed or something I can't even really remember she went in my purse dug that harness out and chewed the clasp the little thing where it hooks together off um, I heard something just now I jumped up it was Dan's sunglasses I don't know where she found them they had probably laid them on the back of that couch over there and then you know that she got them so it's like having a little bit oh and there was a t-shirt laying in the floor where she'd gone and got it out of the dirty clothes just like having a baby, like a little toddler around. And it's been a few years since I've had a toddler around, so, oh my God. But y'all, I wanted to show you, I might order on Amazon a lot. I have been on recently, oh, and I've got something else. I ordered my kids some keychains. I don't know if they watch these videos. I ordered both of my big kids keychains because they're stuck. It's so me. It says, please drive safe because I love you. Yeah. And I'm going to send them to him. So hopefully they won't watch this video before. I've already, they know, uh, I think Cameron knows about these. I'm not sure I've mentioned it to Nicole yet, but I went on and ordered some eyeshadow this is a dupe for I have it it's the naked three naked three I think it's all the pinks I thought I had it here with me but I don't um yeah this is a dupe for the naked three palette which I'm a pink person through and through and through and through. Now, I've tried to use these other colors, but they just, I don't think they look as good on me. But Cameron and Nicole both use these colors. Look at this little palette, y'all. How cute is this? It's called Rose Night 
but the the colors are like the I don't know how to get up close so that you can see and get the shine off of it. Um, like they're in the orange family. Cameron wears those colors, and I think Nicole does too, and they're really pretty um, on them. So I had gone on and found some, this is like a, uh, what do you call it, glittery? It's not glittery, it's... Um, I can't remember what they call this. Like, it's not glitz, it's like pearly, whatever. It's that, that thing. And then I ordered a whole thing of mattes because I prefer mattes. I don't like glittery because to me, glitter just shows all my wrinkles up. And then I've got this one. Isn't this cute, y'all? Look at these colors. And then the, the little thing is just like it. But look at these colors. Oh, so, oops. So freaking pretty, but still, you know, like there's a rose, rosy purple right here, but still in the um, peachy, and, and that is, it's, it's called Peach Dream, duh. Still in the peachy tones, so I am going, I'm going to keep this one, because this was a knockoff, and y'all, what's so crazy about it, um, I have the, the actual naked, these are the, like, I only use these two colors right here, the rest of, I still have all the rest of those colors, but I'm going to keep that one. And then I'm going to send all of these, send some of these to my girls. But yeah, but oh, I know what I was going to say. Y'all, these were like $4. $4.10. These might have been $5. Just nothing. Like, weren't expensive at all. I can't even, I can't remember how much this one was. Not expensive at all. I haven't used it yet. It may not be worth, you know, $0.50. Cents. Um, but yeah, it's an L.A. girl. Isn't that a brand that Walmart carries? Anyway, I'm going to send those to the girls and along with their keychains. And uh, I'm going to sit here and eat my pretzels. That's my problem. I'm looking on the back of this bag, y'all. And it says there are three. Like, this is just a, like, to me, just a little chip, the, like a personal chip package size. Anyway, no, this is three servings. And it has. 22 carbs per serving so that is 66 carbs and i'll eat this whole bag today at some like you know not all at one time but i will eat the whole bag so that's my problem but i gotta get back on it i want to know this this is what i sat down here to talk about i haven't talked about it lately i, I don't think i've talked about it at all i have like Anyway, you know what I'm saying. I, I don't. I try to clarify because you know, to me, um, everybody is like, like we're all friends here and we kind of know what's going on or whatever. And like, but I have to. I, I try to keep remembering. Like, new people may just pop in today. This may be the first video they've ever um, watched. So I try to. That's why I try to go back and clear up what I'm saying. But I have talked about depression many times on my channel. I just haven't talked about it lately. Now, uh, as, as you know, if you uh, follow us, uh, Dan has dealt with depression all of his adult life. He only sought treatment treatment for it, um, I don't even really know, maybe 10 uh, in 08. So, uh, he had sought treatment before, before, but he didn't follow through. But in 2008, that was the rule. You have to get on medicine and you have to stay on it. We were in a really rocky time. But um, he has been on it, and he is a changed person. He's he's like being married to somebody totally different now, and uh, all you know, all good. And um, so anyway, I've dealt with a lot of depression since my surgeries in '08, and um, along with it has come depression. And I, you know, before that had never had any depression, so I, ne I, d I couldn't understand. I mean, I knew something was wrong with Dan, but I couldn't totally understand. And and I, and I I'm ashamed to admit it, but I I, I don't want to say I blame I, I blamed him. I, I I blamed him for being lazy, um, all that kind of stuff. Anyway, now that I've been through it myself, I go, oh my God, I get it. That's depression. Okay, because I, for me. I don't want to talk to anybody. I don't want you to talk to me. 
um, yeah, let's just don't talk. I can lay in there in the bed 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Don't no nobody talk to me, and I won't talk to you, and life will be lovely. And that's not true though. Like that in in, in the midst of it, that is how I feel. Just just let me be alone. But I know I, that's not me. I want to be up and busy and doing something and having fun and laughing and you know being stupid. That's what I enjoy. So, I went to the doctor um, last week, I think, and I told her, I said, I'm just going to have to have something for this depression. I realize I'm getting deeper and deeper and deeper. The vitamin D is not cutting it. Um, yeah, it, 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 I mean, I'm sure it's probably helping. The thyroid medicine, I'm sure, is helping. Like, it had not been, excuse me, doing as good as it had been. So she upped that dose, but um, so yeah, she gave me Wellbutrin. I took one well because like here's my problem. Here's my thing, not my problem. Um, I tend to not want to look like I know I need something for depression. I know that I do, and I don't know why it was so hard for me to to finally give in and ask for it. Now I did go on something. I don't remember what year it was. Um, it I'm that person that that's you know like when the antidepressants came out and they said but be careful because this can sometimes make the symptoms worse it made it worse for me so I had to go off of it it had me um yeah thinking somebody was trying to kill me not me us you know it, it had me in a really dark place so that's why I was scared to ask for something again because I, I don't want to go there again but I know I need to get out of this place and so I, I didn't look at the, the uh, side effects because I know I would look at them and go, nope, I'm not taking that. So um, I didn't look at the side effects. Um, well, that whole day, m like my throat hurt really bad. And uh, I had told Dan, I was like, oh God, my throat has been killing me all day. I must be coming down with a cold or something. And um, said something to my BFF and and y'all that's the way I refer to her like her name is Lisa I'm not sure she ever calls me by my name if she like she calls me her BFF like my BFF and that's just how we refer to each other and I like that um if she calls me she don't ever really call me I mean she will call me by my name obviously but if she like calls me something other than my BFF it's Mama G and uh so anyway my BFF sends me some information uh, or no, 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 we talk about it, and um, I don't know how, why we talked about the side effects, but I, but I said, oh, well, let me just go look them up, because I have, what's the matter, Callie? What's the matter, girlfriend? What's the matter? Don't you know? She's like, y'all, I went from this really busy house with kids, and my sister-in-law, who I got her from, is a principal of a school, and so there's always kids. She's always around kids. And now she's in this quiet house with this crazy lady that talks to herself. So she's probably, she, she got a hair in my lipstick. But I'll take her outside in a little bit. Uh, we'll walk around for a while. But anyway, so I Google the uh, side effects. Lo and behold, I had no clue a th sore throat was a side effect of Wellbutrin. But also... One of the side effects was constipation. Guys, you know I struggle with this diverticulitis and constipation and crazy gut. So I thought, you know, this is not for me. I've had this terrible sore throat all day. So it's probably going to jack my guts up. It did. Uh, threw me into an attack. I am, uh, but I didn't take antibiotics. I again controlled it with the apple cider vinegar. Thank God, that's just, I'm so, so thankful that I have found that I can fix it with that. But anyway, threw me into that, which had me feeling bad, you know, da, 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 da. But I know I'm feeling bad. So, I just wanted to mention here, I know I haven't been responding in the comments like I normally do, because I normally love to talk to everybody. And I, I, I love reading the comments and stuff, and I feel like that's really one-sided, you know, that you talk to me, but I haven't been talking back to you, and I apologize. I'm trying to do better. It's been a struggle, but um, I just wanted to put it out there because, I, you know, I, I don't know why I'm, uh, I'm not ashamed of it, of like, that I feel depressed. I'm not ashamed of it whatsoever, but I don't know what, it, I don't know what the hang-up is. I don't know why I don't want to take the medicine for it. I think for me, it's a, it's more of... I'm scared it's going to make me feel worse 
and I'm scared of the side effects that's going to affect other things, you know, that I'm, I'm just... I'm just kind of scared of medicine, you know, because my body, if it if it's going to get reacted to crazy, this body's going to do it. Medi me and medicine are, we're just weird. We're just weird. But anyway, so yeah, if you're dealing with depression, let's, you know, get it out in the open. Let's talk about it. Let's don't, you know, deal with it alone or, or feel alone and, and stuff like that. So, but anyway, enough about that. I colored my hair, guys. I love, love, love this combination. I hope I remember. I'll try to make a note to myself. This, I used, I just used the cheapest um, color, the cheapest, uh, what am I trying to say, the box uh, from Walmart. I'll try to stick a picture in here of it. And I used medium auburn and dark auburn mixed this time. So I hope I remember that. I normally always use the medium auburn, but I'll put like a brown or something with it. But I really like the color that, that you know, it, it like, and, and normally I don't like it for about a week when I first do it because it's just, it's too dark and too, um, like I like my hair to look like it's got some highlights in it. Because, you know, I mean, it's got this natural highlight there. Uh, but, um, yeah, it, it's too like one color for about a week, but after about a week it lightens up. But I like this color like from the very start. So hopefully I remember medium auburn and dark auburn. I'm gonna try to remember that for my for the next time. Y'all look, I've got Chloe loved, loved, loved uh, viney weenies. So I just bought them thinking that as a treat, Callie might like it too. Um, she don't care for them. Like she wants, she's whining because she wants them. I went and got her some while ago. She doesn't like it. Uh, when Cameron was a baby, she hated tuna fish, and I would try to trick her. I'd put it on a cracker. I'd put it in some bread. I did all kinds of stuff, and she would go, and then just like let it fall out of her mouth. That was what Callie did to. Let's see, she's gonna take it. Oh, of course. Since I said she don't like it, she's gonna sit here and eat it. Is that not typical, y'all? You go, oh, no, 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 no. My kids won't eat that. <laughs> you know, they'll eat it before you can get that out of your mouth. Or you say, uh, oh, yeah, my kids eat that all the time. They go, I don't want that. Typical. Typical. But I love your old furry butt. I love your old furry butt, Miss Callie. Y'all, she gets a haircut this weekend, and I cannot wait. My baby's going to be beautiful. She's beautiful now, but she's going to be really beautiful this weekend. You're going to be pretty this weekend, Miss Callie. You want another one? Since you are trying to prove me wrong. So that's what I need to do. I need to get on here and tell y'all. She doesn't do this or she does do this. Get her to prove me wrong. She don't eat my sunglasses up. Who are you kidding? She don't eat my... Like, I've literally bought... I can't even tell you how many pairs of glasses since I got her because she's eat every pair up. Um, Yeah. She don't do those things. My baby's perfect. My baby's perfect. I'll see y'all next week, guys.